Hey Aries, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries signs, this is your weekly love reading from the 29th to September 4th. Um, this will not resonate with everybody, so make sure you check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. Um, I'm going to take you on down here and we'll get started. I want to thank you once again for joining me on my channel. Um, would not be possible without you, and I'm so very grateful for each and every one of you. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you um, enjoyed the video. While I was shuffling and meditating briefly on your guys' sign before I started um, my video, the Ten of Cups and the Fool popped out, so we will keep that in mind as we are doing our reading. Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for our Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus friends? For the week of September, or September, I'm sorry, for the week of August 29th through September 4th, what do they need to know in love? What do you want them to know? What do they get to know? Okay. Here we go. Aries, your first card out of the deck is the Four of Wands in reverse. Um... This is something, there's some sort of shakeup in the home. Uh, you could be uh, finding out some news about a house um, either that you're living in or that you wanted. Um, there also could be a breakdown in the foundation of the home you're currently living in, Aries. Your next card out is the sun in reverse. So... You are, you are on the path of enlightenment. You are on the path that you're meant to take. The sun is trying to illuminate something within the home that is not right, that needs fixed. Um, yeah, it's calling for you to pay attention. Pay attention to the flags, the red flags. Pay attention to the universe and what it's trying to caution you of. Um, I do see a relationship ending with this group of you. Um and things are coming to light that happened in the that were done in the dark. Uh, the, this is destined to happen. Yeah, there it is, the world card. So after um, you guys find out some news about um, your home, your partner, your uh, your foundation to what you built this relationship on, once some things are coming um, come to light for you, you are. Um, you are going to decide that it's time to leave this person, the situation, this place in the past. Um, for some of you, you are traveling. Um, for some of you, you have a Leo or a Taurus coming in. Um, but this is victory. I keep hearing victory um, for yourself, for finding who you are, for completing a difficult cycle in your um, path that you've had to endure over um, the last couple of years. I'm hearing 2012, so something happened in 2012 to break down a marriage or a commitment. You're finally closing the door out to that, Aries. Queen of Swords in reverse, coming out of um, a time of being cold. Um, you really uh, had to turn your back on a lot of people that were trying to be negative in your space, your energy. You weren't listening to it. You just you turned around, you weren't listening to it, you did your own thing, you cut out who needed to be cut out, um, and the universe took care of the rest. Um, so now you're coming, after you finish this um, this cycle, you are going to come out of this time of feeling like you have nobody to turn to. Um, you're going to warm back up to the idea of a relationship. Um, because this relationship really did a number on you. It made you question everything. It made you question everything down to, to your creator, your maker, um, whoever that may be for you. Um, it made you question every relationship you've ever been in. It made you question the person that left you out in the cold. It made you question everything. Um, you kind of felt like your whole world was spinning out of control. Um, with this four of wands in reverse, you thought this person was going to be um, you're happily ever after. And then they, they up and left one day. No, no reason, no excuse, no communication. 
um, just totally left you out in the cold. Um, and the sun slowly warmed your soil back up. The sun slowly guided you into your path of awakening, your path of healing, self-love, and uh, and that all stemmed off the heartbreak of this of this relationship in the last year. Um, the universe is also offering you clarity. They are showing you things that you've never seen before. You're you're feeling things that you've never felt. You feel whole again. You're no longer feeling broken. Um, this week, some truth is coming towards you from this person that left you in the past, and it's allowing you to shut the door to the past. The past hurts. But you can do two things from it. You can run from it or you can learn from it. And you're sticking around to learn. You're learning the karmic lesson and you are going to be able to um, to move forward in a great way. Judgment is here in reverse. So not quite time for a person that you've been waiting for to come back. This is blessed by the angels. However, um, once you complete this uh, this cycle, then then judgment will be awarded. Answering for what you have done. Um, in this relationship. So, and by answering, I mean, learning your lessons, moving forward, healing, uh, and accepting the truth and reality to the situation with this person. Um, I don't see a, a re reconciliation this week, but I do see a reconciliation in your future. Um, yeah. And here we go. The death card is in reverse. That's why you're not getting your reconciliation this week. You're not completely done purging. You're not completely done um, and out of the darkness of uh, of the dark night of the soul type of energy. You're trying to keep something from ending from some with somebody that left you in the past. Um, you're trying to keep them in your life, no matter how hard they're trying to run away. Yeah, you feel like your prayers aren't being answered. You're wishing and hoping and praying for this person to come back. But we can't manifest a certain person into our life. You're trying to manifest this one person. But what you need to concentrate on is manifesting the your true love, manifesting true happiness. You can't put a name to that because the universe knows who your true love is. So you're wishing for true love, but you're wishing for so-and-so. Well, they can't bring both of them to you, even though you think they're the same person. They're not. So now you're sitting here stuck. You're sitting here with no, no movement. You're sitting here with um, no relationship that you want. And you feel like your prayers aren't being answered. But you need to let go of the um, idea of it being a certain person. Because I see for uh, you guys, Aries, you have a soulmate that's ready to come in for you. But you have to let go of the thought of this person that left you in the cold, that broke your heart with his four of wands in reverse. You have to let go of them. Allow the death card to come in the upright and close this chapter out. I do see you starting that transformation period because the Ace of Swords is the center of your reading here. You're finding clarity that is given to you by the universe. Seven of Pentacles. It's calling for you to be patient. You're becoming very impatient with the process. Um, Aries, you can't skip steps. You're, um, you're just wanting to hurry up and get that person in your life. Um, but you gotta, you gotta weed out your garden first. Um, your garden has a bunch of weeds in it. And so your, uh, person that's meant for you cannot come back, uh, until you do that. However, um, yeah, I'm hearing, however, they are moving forward. They are moving towards you. You are going to find that they are wanting a relationship with you. Um, but you just have to, you have to do your own work first. You have to heal. You have to allow things to leave that are meant to leave and clear, cleanse your energy so that new person has room to come in. Six of Wands. See, see, you're going to be successful. You're going to. You just have to have that um, spark of hope back. You're feeling very um, negative, not negative, but you're doubting uh, that anyone's going to come in for you. So keep the faith. Keep the hope. Um you could be finding success as well within work or like internet success or something within that area, but, uh, you are going to come out on top with justice. Yes, you are going to definitely come out on top. 
Um, could be with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. What you're going to receive after you do all this hard work, um, Aries, is you're going to receive a fair and just and balanced relationship. The karmic scales will balance out once you learn this karmic lesson and the universe will bring into you your true love. Because right now you're, you're emotionally drained. You aren't healed from the heartache of this person. Um, the good thing about it being here, it's here. It's just in the reverse. So it just means you're not ready for it yet. But your soulmates in the background, they're waiting for you. They're waiting for you to do this so you guys can come together in this relationship and, and be successful together. Um, you could... Uh, King of Swords. So yeah, you now have the King and Queen of Swords in reverse. So you're both out of balance, but this is a soulmate connection. Um, when I have a King and Queen both come out in the same reading of the same suit, it is automatically a soulmate uh, connection for me through my angels. So um, this person that you're dealing with, they were very um, aloof, very cold to you. Um, they were standoffish, matter to the fact, uh, acted with their with their thoughts and not with their heart. Um, this person is going to come out of that. You, uh, they're no longer going to treat you with a cold shoulder. They're going to warm up to the idea of the connection. And um, they're going to come forward and tell you their real feelings. Princess of Wands here. So um, you are, you're waiting for this person to come back so you can create something new. This is the uh, the womb of creation with the Princess of Wands, the 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 passion and everything that goes behind the creation. Well, you're waiting for this person to come back so you can create something beautiful. But what spirit is encouraging you to do is take the passion and make your own life beautiful, heal in a most beautiful way and, and find success in yourself, find self love, self worth, self confidence, um, find the passion and ignite your own life. And you're, um, Your fire, your passion in your life that you're creating for yourself will attract your soulmate to you quicker. You know, my favorite Rumi quote is set your life on fire and seek those who fan your flame. Once you set your life on fire, they will fan your flame. And what do you know? And the reading with the Ten of Pentacles. Once you do this. I promise you, you will have a life of abundance in, in love, happiness, joy, the real, the real wealth in life. Yeah, you could find financial success as well, but this is the promise that once you get through this hard uh, work that you have to do on yourself, once you accept the truth about a past relationship and move on and allow this to uh, set free from you and your life, your energy. Once you do that, your soulmate's going to come in and you're going to be, you're promised a life of happiness, joy. Yeah. There's going to be hard times. Duh. It's life. Everyone has hard times at times, but this is your everything. This is everything you could hope and dream and wish for. And, uh, and it's, it's all here waiting for you. So, um, Aries, this week, uh, Spirit is encouraging you to, to work on yourself. Find that self-love. Find that self-healing. Find that self-confidence. Um, and in that, your life will, will be ignited with passion and, and draw in your soulmate with the promise here of a fair and balanced and just relationship filled with a Ten of Pentacles um, ending. Uh, your person you're connecting with also comes from a very uh, large family, um, not necessarily brothers and sisters, but like they have a big extended family. Um, yeah. All right. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of the 29th of August? Very, very amazing reading though, Aries. There's nothing wrong with this. Your card that flipped, make the effort. Like I was just saying, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You have to take the steps. You can't skip steps. Um, you have to take each step, step by step, 
and complete them. Um, and once you make the effort, once you take those steps to heal the steps you're guided to take, your love's going to come in. Your, um, your effort is going to draw in your soulmate. Your next card that flipped was release your ex. Like I said, this person of the past, you have to let them go. You have to accept the truth that they're not coming back. I know that's hard for some of you to hear. And for those of you, um, you know who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to you, you have to let your ex go. Let the expectation of who your soulmate is go because the universe is going to bring you in your real soulmate, but you have to concentrate on you, work on you, make the effort to heal, to love yourself because you're amazing people, Aries, and clear your energy, release your ex, make room for that real soulmate that's coming for you. The time has come to clear your energy. Um, <clears throat> We have a new moon in Virgo on September 9th. Beautiful time to do a release ritual, um, but you can do it anytime. We're still in the window of the full moon in Pisces. Allow the beautiful um, emotions of the Pisces moon to help cleanse and heal you. Um, take full advantage of it. So Aries, I hope you guys have a beautiful week. I love each and every one of you. I'm so thankful for you um, coming to my channel, watching my videos. If this resonated, please leave me a message. I enjoy reading them. Um, also, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you enjoy my videos and don't want to miss any in the future. So once again, I send you all healing, love, light, and God bless.